Let's have a talk about a viral Twitter thread that went around about something that happened in Kentucky. So libs of TikTok doing the Lord's work on the, the Twitter until they get suspended for something uh, have posted insane. Mayor of Hazard, Kentucky, who is the principal of the Hazard High School, held an assembly with a male pageant. The students came in dressed in lingerie and gave lap dances to the staff. Jesus. Unironically, that is... But I mean, that there... That person there, I believe that's not one of the staff. That person getting the lap dance. Some there. guy. No, it's not just some guy. Oh no, that's the mayor. I mean, I can't tell from the picture, but he doesn't seem to be pushing them away. He's not having a terrible time, is he? No. And uh, the person sat next to him is the principal of the school, who allowed this to be organised. Apparently, participated. Get rid of them. Get rid of absolutely every, every single one of them <laughs> in prison. Exactly. You. I mean, like, like there, what? there is the principal getting a twerk on from one of the students. Lots of people watching, and everyone's just like, "Hmm, I, this I've, is normal." I've seen this pop up on my Twitter feed, but I have deliberately avoided looking at it yep. just because these sorts of images make me. Students are about sixteen, I think. It just makes me very angry. This is vile. Yep, I, th I think that's the only word that you can use to, well, reprehensible. Now, if this was happening in California or New York, I, mean, <laughs> I would I'm expect sure it. Yeah, that's business as usual over there, Ex I'm exactly. sure. Exactly, but it's happening in Kentucky. Yeah. Is there anyone in Kentucky who takes objection to this? Like, are you gonna are you gonna email them? Maybe it's like, hang on, what are you doing? Right. Well, I mean, once again, I mean, tying this into the sort of st uh, story that I covered yesterday, I believe yeah. that the uh, governor of Kentucky is a. Good, uh, Democrat, mm -hmm. good old Democrat. Yep. So no real surprise here. Don't know why why people in America keep voting for Democrats to be honest, because this, this is the kind of degeneracy you're going to get. This is but what they're this, doing to your kids. This, this is a good post, though, right? So I scratched out the students in the photo for their privacy. This was posted by the Hazard High School uh, and, and deleted after a backlash. So they posted this to their Facebook page. They were proud enough of they it. They didn't realize. <laughs> Look at what we're doing. That people might be like, "Hang on, is this acceptable?" Is it acceptable for the students to be sexualized and then twerk and lap dance and grind on the teachers and the mayor? Is this normal? Is this what happens in Kentucky? Is this what good Republican Christians do with their time and allow what happens to their, chil to their children? I wouldn't have said so, but what do I know? I don't live in Kentucky. But today, during the homecoming assembly, they held a male pageant. During this, young male students came out with bikinis, lingerie, tons of skin showing, etc. They proceeded, it seems, in the photos to give lap dances to the teachers. The school shared these photos. I personally believe this is ridiculous, incredibly inappropriate from the perspective of a high school student. I can't imagine what some of the parents were thinking. My question is, who allowed this to be approved, and what's the board's opinion on this? Great question. So, I mean, like, let's go to the principal of the school and let's see what his opinion is. Because the uh, oh, here's just some more images of it. But if we can go to the next one, that's the principal. Scroll down a bit. That's the principal. He's having a great time. Oh, he's not hating, is he? But how no. is this acceptable? How is this acceptable, right? This this feels like the kind of Illuminati. He he might be a member of one of those <laughs> Illuminati esque cults. I don't think he is. I think he's just a pervert. Well, I I mean he more in in one of those shows where someone like that would show up. He looks the type. I guess, but I I think he's just a pervert. Yeah, right. So, I don't doubt that. Yeah, if we can get to the next one, there there have been past allegations against this guy, uh, because his name's Donald Happy Mubellini, uh, and in two thousand and eight, I think it was. Um, he was uh, photographed, and this was posted again to Facebook, which shows him driving around his daughter and four of her friends with vodka and cans of beer while they're smoking in a car. It's like, why Why is he doing this? Wow. Like, how is this the principal of the school? And that happened in 2008, and it was just like, yeah, okay, carry on. I mean, this, that, that sounds like a, one of those infiltration methods where it's it like, look, I'm the, cool, I'm the cool teacher. That's exactly it, but it also sounds very groomy, doesn't it? Well, I, I think the two go hand in hand with exactly, one another. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I don't know why I have to say this, but if, if you have a position of authority in a school, you uh, have a professional and moral obligation to keep a certain distance professional distance between you and the students didn't think i'd need saying but there we go here we are uh, and so as the post millennial report an investigation is underway uh, so the superintendent of the hazard independent schools uh called sonda combs uh, coombs said 
Uh, the district has a tradition of excellence in academics and everything we do, but the incident is being investigated, and once the investigation is complete, appropriate action will be taken. So uh, there's quite a long statement, <clears throat> but I'll just drag a, a few quotes out of it. I found the schools of inappropriate student-led activities that since fo uh, surfaced on fo social media. Appropriate disciplinary, disciplinary action has been taken, but we won't tell you any more about it, is basically the thing. So has the guy been fired? Not to my knowledge. And they won't tell us what they've done, so... As far as I'm concerned, why would that be anything? Uh, the Student Activity Committee uh, was created, uh, they've created a Student Activity Committee to review all student-led activities because, as they're saying, the students are the ones who organized and did this. Without any encouragement from the teachers, apparently, don't believe it. Even, even if that was the case, if they come to you and go, it's well, not an excuse. all the boys will give you a lap dance. And, and some of the girls, too. They'll be in their bikinis and hooters outfits. You say no. Yes. You Why shut you bring, that down. Bring, bring the mayor in. Yeah. He could do with a lap dance, couldn't he? He'll have a great time. In this school gymnasium? Hmm. Jeez. Unbelievable, right? And so they say, using this teachable moment, we will provide social media training for students and staff. Anything posted online is permanent and is there on public display for everyone to see and share around the globe. Wait, so is the implication there that the only thing that went wrong was they shared this online? That was one of the implications, That's yes. certainly... That's, uh, yeah, you know, well, we, we don't want them posting this online again yeah. because look we how upset you know this looks are. bad. Yeah, exactly, and it only looks bad because, you know, 16-year-olds giving the mayor of the t uh, town a, a lap dance at school. <laughs> parents might not be happy about that yeah um you know they say well <clears throat> it was a light-hearted activity and it got out of hand so when they came out in their bikinis <laughs> like <laughs> what did you think was going to happen like what was the point of that like oh it, it just got out of hand sure it did our district would like to apologize for the activity that has been portrayed in the media and we regret how this has unfolded yeah i bet you regret how it's unfolded but you don't seem to be regretting that your students were, I mean, you could say sexually exploited by the principal and other authorities in the local area. That's not an unfair characterization, I think. But you you regret how it is unfolded and you regret posting it to social media because people got to see and they're like, uh, hang on, this is bad, isn't it? This is failing a duty of care to the sanctity and dignity of the children under your care, is it not? Anyway, this is not the type of event that typically occurs here at Hazard High School. Well, I should bloody well hope not. But uh, the parents were not very impressed, <laughs> if you can believe it. <laughs> Surprise there. Uh, one, one person featured in the photo, oh, by the way, uh, yeah, was the, uh, the principal. But anyway, one mother says, um, oh no, sorry, the high school principal is the mayor of Hazard. Sorry, I mixed those two up. Oh, okay. That's not the mayor. It, the mayor's there, but he's also the principal. He's clapping them along. Yeah, apologise for that. Yeah, so anyway, uh, one, one woman uh, says, as a mother myself, I wouldn't want my son involved in such actions. Another woman said that it's not a representation of what the pageants are and found it demeaning in many ways, unsurprisingly. Uh, another mum, uh, uh, who is a family member at the school and kids in the district, says, the event should have been shut down the moment an adult realised students were undressing. Correct. Absolutely. I think that they should have, at this point, said, hey, I know this is a joke, but let's stop. This is inappropriate. Again, the bare minimum. But, uh, but I don't one... see the joke in it. No, first, I don't. First of all. No, what are you doing? But uh, one mother disagrees. She says, oh, it's been completely taken out of context. There are only photos being shown on the internet. No videos. The photos didn't show the teachers pushing the children off them. That's true. If you have such photos, <laughs> why don't you share them? If they're available, yeah, it, it would help. Yeah, exactly. Surely. Uh, are you sure the principal was pushing the children off him when he was like, you know, laughing about enjoying when he getting was twerked on them along? Yeah, exactly. You know, that's, that's a big assumption, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, if we can get to the next one, so disciplinary action is apparently going to again. Where, where's the pushing off? Oh, mm. they, they look like they're all having a great time as this half-naked student massages the belly of some fat dude. Like, sorry, this is just like... Oh, oh, it's just, you just didn't see the other photos. I don't want to see the other photos. Just, I don't want to know what happened next. Yeah, how is this not child exploitation? I mean... I shouldn't, I shouldn't laugh, but how is this a thing that's happened? I know. 
Democrats, eh? Yeah. Anyway, a thread about the Hazard High School events on uh, Reddit uh, were titled, This is the mayor of my town being grinded on by a high school student dressed as a woman, has more than 4, 450 comments and loads of upvotes. Uh, Mo Bellini was previously the subject of investigation in 2008 when the first photos posted to Facebook showed him driving with his daughter and drank, drank teenage friends. But later in 2008, he also came under scrutiny when police charged 12 underage students with alcohol intoxication when they were found drinking on the uh, football field, and he was reportedly with the students before the police had arrived uh, so who knows if he had provided the, the liquor or not yeah. but the point is it seems to be a problem with the principal slash mayor of Hazard I mean I was going to ask how does this man still have his job but if he's the mayor as well then I can only assume that he's just exerted a little bit of a influence Enti- there? entirely possible but um but the superintendent apparently hasn't fired him and we're not going to be talking i mean disciplinary action is probably a stern stern talking to or yeah. an email or something but it's like sorry i don't see how that's acceptable and like i i would have expected the person who'd done that to be fired but uh, what yes. do i know if you enjoyed that segment from the podcast the lotus eaters you can watch the full thing at 1 p.m every weekday at lotuseaters.com or you can sign up to get access to all the premium content we have on the site. Yeah, we've got loads of really good stuff. Uh, every week we have a Contemplations and Epochs episode that goes up, and in the Contemplations we talk about just interesting things. And uh, the Epochs episodes are probably my favourite because I love talking about history. Uh, this latest one is we're doing a, a bit of a series on the Hundred Years' War and uh, why England kept winning and we've not finished it yet, and you're going to really enjoy the end of that one. But uh, we've also got uh, other excellent episodes that we do, like the book club. Uh, the most recent one was Shooting an Elephant by George Orwell. This was about his time in Burma as a colonial officer, and when he was tasked with the shooting of a rampaging elephant. And it's really, really interesting uh, what the circumstance of the thing was. But we also have lots of other content, such as premium articles, which have audio tracks on them for our silver and gold subscribers. And we do premium podcasts about things that we don't really feel that we can put on YouTube or have done a particularly large amount of research into. And so it's uh, it's worth keeping them uh, slightly more private. And we also do lots of very interesting interviews, such as this one with comedian Steve Hughes, which was really fascinating because I didn't expect him to be a philosopher. Uh, But anyway. Also, the last thing to mention is the live event content we have. So we occasionally, when we get around to it, doing our live events and the videos from them are on the website as premium, of course, because people came to see and paid. Mm. So go and check that out. This is on the worst of critical race theory. Yes. And I do mean the worst. It's unconscionable. Yeah. So if you'd like access to all that premium content, go to lotusseaters.com and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.